Hi and welcome to GRVO TV. Um, for a change I thought I would do a review on something a little bit different to the usual photography. For your information the uh, camera I'm recording on today is the D7000 with the Sigma 18-50 28 lens and I've just got a little uh, wired microphone. So kayaking, canoeing, whatever you want to call it. This is a Wilderness Systems Tarpon 100 sit on top kayak and it's my new toy you can probably see just a little bit in the picture there's a, a yellow one there that's my old kayak which is someone is coming to buy today um, so anyway I bought this off of eBay as most of my stuff and uh, I'm well chuffed with it I've done a few modifications to it already so I just thought I'd run through the, the cockpit area first. The most important thing that I've found with kayaking is I've never found a kayak with a particularly comfortable seat and this has got, um, it's called like a phase three sit on top seating system and it is fantastic, it gives you really good support on your back, um, it's a really comfortable seat, you can shuffle around, you can adjust it, it's got leg lifters to just to give you a bit of support under your legs and uh, yeah it's, it's a great place to sit. So, um, as standard, you get the adjustable footrests, um, which are nice. There's right between your legs here, there's a little cubby hole. Now, these cubby holes are not waterproof. I don't care if people say they are or they're supposed to be, they're not. So, deal with it. So, anything that goes in here, this is just a hole in, in the hull. So, I've got access to the whole hole from here, and there's also one at the front. So, what I do is keep in here, they, I mean they do handily have, um, they put little tyres in here which you can clip carabiners on and I've got dry bag, dry bag and dry box. Uh, in there I've got like a compass and a leatherman. I don't always take that with me but I always have these in here because I can put keys, phone, I can get a t-shirt in there if I want to keep it dry um, it's just stuff for on the day and again they're, they're all attached by carabiners onto loops which are attached inside the boat um, so you're not going to lose it up the end of the hull or down the back of the hull it's always there to hand nice and easy so that's that also here there's on either side you've got these little flaps and you can put drinks in there or uh, a bit of food or whatever you want just sort of handy in there um, the front hatch is the same as this hatch and in there I again have got a couple of carabiners and I will sometimes put the anchor in there um, uh, whatever in there and just do the same thing but that will obviously be stuff I don't use so much I'm not planning to use unless I need to get out so if I just jump out gives you a better look at the seat the um, nice handle at the front for lifting I don't know if you can see from there, but I've, I've attached a couple of little pad eyes either end, and I'll show you what they're for in a minute. But if I just go around the back, I've fitted in two flush mounted rod holders. There's a nice big boot, and I've got fishing gear in there. Again, the scupper bungs attached in the same way. And you've got these rails that you can attach things to as well. When I go out for a day, I generally take this, which I made myself, after seeing lots of different ways of doing it on eBay. But this is a dead simple system, this is the Mianka trolley. I wanted it removable because I don't always want it on. That's that's my anchor trolley clipped on. So now while I'm in the boat, if I want to shift my anchor front of the boat, I just pull that, put it out there, and the anchor trolley obviously will be pulling on that, so that will tend to sit around there somewhere, and uh, that all works brilliantly. These here are rod rests, so you can put your rod in there, flick it on either side. Moving down to the back of the boat, again I said I've got my rod rests, I've got, I usually take out just a couple of little, this is a nice fishing rod, and then that's just a, a proper kayak rod. And I will take with me uh, a box of lures. Uh, that's my anchor, again homemade. Um, the idea of this anchor is you can latch it on and if you need to unhitch, 
the float will show you where you are. Um, also, that the way I've got that will just slide. It stays where it is, but you can slide it up and down the line depending on your depth. So that's me anchor. Homemade, stone is still fitting, it's just easy clip on and go. And the other thing I've got is that, which is just a little inflatable seat for when I'm stopped and want to have uh, some lunch or whatever, I need to sit down. There it is. I'm hoping to do a, a follow on video of this actually on the water, and I'll either attach it to this or do it separately. I uh, hope you've uh, found this of some use. The um, Just quickly on the, the canoe itself, it paddles well, it's manoeuvrable. I can just about lift it and throw it on the roof of my car. Um, so overall, I'm well chuffed with it. Uh, anyway, thanks for that. Cheers, bye.